Welcome folks, this is Ken with Pro Green Ground Services. It ain't green, it ain't green. And welcome to the Pro Green family. guys we're installing a Wi-Fi timer that is from Emo Laser. I'm excited because I've heard some things about it but I want to try it out for myself let's see how this looks and let's get it installed and mounted now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount this bracket here that way the clock can be safe from all the elements from outside and also it'll give us a good strong base to make sure this clock is uh, protected and functioning correctly. We're gonna go over here to the box and turn power off to the clock so we, we don't get zapped. We don't wanna get zapped. Let's remove this old timer. First things first, we're gonna start taking off all the old wires and find all the screws to remove the old timer off because we gotta get everything bare so we can get this bracket on because the bracket is the main thing. You gotta get that bracket on to have a strong base for that very sensitive and very powerful Wi-Fi timer. Out with the old, in with the new. We got the imports for power and the irrigation wires. They give you your own bracket and screw set for the transform right there. But we're gonna connect power right into here. And let's start getting power hooked up to this clock so we can start getting everything ready. We see green, black, and white. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna install the bracket. I'm gonna install the actual mount anchor, and then I'm gonna drill the holes preliminary. You know, put little tight holes in the wall. I'm gonna drill some holes. That way I can take it back off and actually drill them into the wall nice and tough. Put my anchors in. That way this is on this, on this wall nice and tough. No wind, unless, unless a hurricane or a tornado comes and wrecks the house. It's the only way this thing coming off. Let me show you how it's done. All right, let's start marking. I'm gonna drill my preliminary holes so I can at least hang the clock. And then I'm gonna hold with my other hand and kind of just do my whole markings, you know what I mean? All right, we got the base just hanging on there. Now I gotta mark the holes, you see? I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna mark these holes here. Bam, bam, and right there, bam. Just mark them, I'm, I'm just mark them. That way I can go ahead and put my muscle into it when I take it back off and put those other anchors in. So that this base here is straight and on the wall, nice and tough. Like I told you before, now I'm gonna mark the holes, just gently drill. You know, so I can know where they're at when I take the bracket back off. Put some muscle behind each hole that I marked. You see? Get them all in there. Nice, nice, good deep holes. Put the anchors in so that clock don't move around. Okay, we're going to put the clock on. We're going to get those screws. Okay, put them in there. Drill them in. See? That clock is on there sturdy. Now let's look at the clock real quick. Let's open this up here real quick and see what we got inside. Um, we have the actual timer. It's not that big. It's one little square, little piece, but that's all the brains. That's all the brains. We got the books. Do not throw this away. You're gonna need it later. Okay, let's put that aside. But there's the clock. That's your baby you gotta take care of right there. You know what I'm saying? They also have the transformer. And they also have some more screws and anchor kits. Gives you, uh, I showed you before, a tiny uh, flathead screwdriver. You're gonna need it, okay? Especially to open these up. And also put in the, the screws that they give you in this in the packet. That's why I make sure you're opening everything up slowly. All right, let's go ahead and mount this clock on. 
Now, in order for the transformer to work, the plug-in transformer, we gotta hook the power up. White wire, black wire, and we have the copper wire coming from the panel. That needs to go to the clock, okay? It's coming from the panel. See, the clock got white, black, and green, okay? That black goes to the black from the panel. The white goes to the white, or the, the green goes to that copper, okay, the ground. And then the neutral, the white, goes to the other white wire from the panel. So black and black, white and white, and green and bare, or green to the copper, okay? Green to the copper. That's how you gotta do it to get 110. So that uh, outlet right there can work with the transformer, you see? Now all we gotta do is snake our irrigation or sprinkler wires through, right? Get those through and then mount the faceplate. There's three screws that align directly with the housing. And those screws are in that small little bag. Go ahead and align them up, put the screws on, and your faceplate is mounted. Let's go back to the electrical panel. Flip on power, 110, and that light should come on, and boom, we have power to our clock. All right, now, let's hook these sprinkler wires up. Okay, I only have four zones. Now, you remember that little screwdriver I was telling you about? You're gonna need that or you're gonna have some problems. Reason being is these little screws here take a small little flathead screwdriver and you need that smaller screwdriver to put your zones in. Now I went ahead and hooked mine up according to my zone, but you gotta do it according to yours, okay? Connect that common wire, all right? Connect that common wire so your system could be grounded. If you don't connect that common wire, your system will not work. So make sure your common wire is in this common spot before you connect any sprinkler wire in sequence, okay? Make sure your common is connected. That way you can start putting your zone wires in. But as soon as I did that, I went to the next step on programming my clock to the app you have to download. Let's go download the app. I downloaded the app on my iPhone and on my tablet. You can see right there, open it up and open up an account. You're gonna need to open up an account. Okay, I did it on my tablet too. That way I can start hooking up the Wi-Fi and my zones. Now that app is gonna make you scan this barcode here on your clock, okay? You scan that and it'll pull up the type of timer you have and you can begin registering your timer to your home, place of address. That way the weather channel and all that stuff could be hooked up to it. I'm gonna it is so neat. Well, I wouldn't say the weather channel, but the weather will be hooked up to it. That way you don't need to hook up a rain sensor. It'll be already built in. On the front. If it's raining, your clock will not run. Side. I came with to see how this thing works. So I brought my tablet outside. I wanted to program zone four, cause that's my front yard. My front yard right there, okay? I went and hit that, followed all the directions, okay? It's gonna walk you right through it. You know, I hit next. I just kept hitting next because I wanted to get right to the pictures. Don't hit test zone, just hit next. Okay, take my picture. Okay, I took a photo of the front yard or the area that I want to be zoned for, okay? And then once I did that, it kind of turned sideways, but don't worry about that, don't fight with it. Just take the photo and it'll straighten back up, okay? Don't fight with it. I used that photo, right? And now, that's zone four. I'm gonna apply that, right? And now, this section here is zone four. This is awesome, man. And it, 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 it asks you questions like, you know, is it your most sunniest side? Is it a cool side? You know, I know that side is sunny, you know, and it's warm, warm grass, so that's what I hit, right? 
and then it walks you off to, 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 to the next section. See, it's checked off. Okay, let's go to the next section. You know, it asks you a bunch of questions about, you know, how to water it. Well, let's get, yeah, see, fixed spray, yeah. These are fixed sprays, okay? And that's how we're gonna do it, man. Look at that. Yeah, every question, of course, is fertile. It's pro green, baby. You know, and it gets lots of sun. It does all of that for you. There's no need on messing with this very smart timer. Even has the percentage of water that it should need based on its scientific ratings, okay? Let's see how this works. I'm gonna fire this up. Ooh, I'm excited, okay? You see that little water button right there? And you go ahead and you hit that to activate it, okay? See that zone four is ready, see the picture? That's zone four, the same picture we took, right? Next, I wanna run it real quick. Let me see how this look real quick. Oh boy, oh boy, woo! All right, that look good. Okay, you'll know if it's still running because the little green light will be on. Okay, now let's see if it turn off. We hit the stop button, and let's see if it turn on, turn off from the tablet. Heck yeah, it sure enough did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All over my house, so my signal is strong. It's very responsive. Um, it's the same as some of the other Wi-Fi timers, you know, like Ratio or Rainbird. But the difference is, it's its response. It's very responsive. There is no lag time as far as when you hit zone four, you're waiting like three, four seconds. No, it's zone four and it's bam, it's on, okay? It is very responsive. Um, I would recommend one of these timers. Uh, I'm probably gonna recommend it to some of my customers. Uh, it's cost effective and it's very user friendly, okay? This is Ken Green with Probing Ground Services. And I want to thank Imoleza for allowing me to install one of their sprinkle timers. Thank you.